This one really is quite different looking. No, I wasn't joking. We really are in a bed, but talking about a serious issue. Josh is going to become a volunteer for a charity called Dramatic Need, which was set up by his actress friend Amber Sainsbury. Instead of handing out food, water or medicine, they use the arts to help children in South Africa deal with the many troubles they've endured in their short lives. I got involved a couple of years ago, uh, just sort of trying to um, trying to help Amber out and then I just started to read about it and I thought it would be a really fun thing for me to get involved, like for me personally to do something with instead of just giving money or being a, being a, being a spokesperson or something like that but actually getting, getting something out of it, being able to work hands on. Amber set up Dramatic Need four years ago after seeing the positive effects teaching the arts had on the children. Kids respond specifically to the arts. I mean, they're not called the humanities for nothing. I mean, they're called the humanities because they are what humanise us and they are what gives us hope and they are what helps us deal with trauma and conflict. And there was lots and lots of cases of children picking up pens and pencils in places like the Sudan and just drawing what they'd been through. Josh won't be able to go out to Africa until next year because he's currently starring in Rain Man in London's West End. You have been in London now since summer. How are you enjoying living here? The, the only thing about London that I don't like is that everything closes at like, you know, midnight. You can't catch a tube after midnight, you can't, get, get, can't go to a pub after 11. I'm kind of a, I'm, I'm kind of a, I don't sleep, you know, so, kind of an insomniac, so I like things to stay open late. But I like, I, I like London a lot. And what are the best things about living here? The best things? Mm -hmm. Great cheese shops. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Surprising. No, I lived here in 99 and the food was awful mm -hmm. and it's gotten a lot better in the last nine years. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of good restaurants where I live. So he likes our cheese, but what about our audiences? The play's going well. People seem to really like it. It's my first time on stage in 12 years, so I'm enjoying it. And you picked pretty much the hardest play you possibly could in terms of lengthy dialogue and... Pretty difficult one, yeah. No, I'm, uh, I'm on stage for the entire play except for one minute. And, uh, and my character speaks the entire time. So it's, yeah, it's, a lot of it is a monologue. So, uh, yeah, it's not the easiest one in the world, but if you're going to do something, why not go in? Now, obviously, you're a real heartthrob, sex symbol, blah, blah, blah. Do you have lots of women in the audience? Have I you think noticed? That the, I think <laughs> that the audience is populated by a lot of girls. Yeah. yeah. Anyone throwing their knickers at you? No, it's not that kind of play. <laughs> you never it's know, though. Kind of play, you know. Wait till Saturday, someone <laughs> might. Because <laughs> <Right, yeah. laughs> I'm kind of long to see it. Then I'll know who it was. And on that note, 